I contacted the people I love and am inspired by. I asked them to send me videos of happy moments, growth opportunities, and even tough times throughout this global pandemic. And this is what had to be said about this season of life. Hi. So it is day who knows what for quarantine right now. It's been hard not being able to see my friends and being Winona um, and just having like an everyday normal life. I, one of my favorite things was coffee shops and playing games with friends and I feel like it, you can't go sit in a coffee shop and enjoy time like that now. Because with quarantine we have so much time, um, you know, that we tend to overthink and I don't want to overthink anymore. Hearing how serious the coronavirus got was very life-altering. That sounds so dramatic, but I'm being for real. Like, I had just gotten back from our season opener games in Chicago and everything was great. We played great, like, <laughs> it was amazing. We went to practice the next day and we literally got through ha half of our practice. We did our punishment sprints, we did everything. And then the baseball coach came up to us and told us that the NCAA was canceling all spring sports. As of what I want to talk about, life is short and it's fragile. And we don't know how many birthdays we have. So just, we don't have to have a birthday to celebrate. Just celebrate life. And if you haven't told someone you love them, do it now. Do it. Tell people you love them. Call your friends. Text your friends. Hug them. Kiss them. from where flow. My heart is sure to follow over here. I think we I think we take for granted like our interactions with our friends and you know when we say like we miss our friends, like I'm sure we miss them, but like when you can't see your friends for you know weeks at a time, like it really makes you miss them and it's crazy. Family zooms, I'm really close with my extended family, so it's been hard not to see them but also having Zoom has been also very great. I've been reading, I've been doing different craft projects, um, cleaning the house. Just having more time, as I uh, said earlier, to be together, to be together with your family. Maybe it's not, um, maybe it's not a lot of people, but it's uh, the close people that you live with, I think. Um, Deepening my relationships with my roommates have has been such a blessing um, and being able to spend more time with them. I've had an increase in family time, which I love, and we've been able to have family meals together, which rarely happened before. Right now, especially right now, like during this time, I believe everyone should be taking the amount of free time that we have and to just be in the present moment and to focus on your own self, focus on your own health. Things that, uh, like little joys that I've seen um, that make me really happy during this time are uh, just going on walks and seeing people out with their families, I think is a beautiful thing. There have been really cool moments um, where I've just learned a lot about myself. I was just totally consumed by the go, go, go of life. And I feel like this has helped me create more of an intentional relationship with my friends because I don't get the luxury of seeing them every day. And so instead I have to remember to FaceTime them or call them or send them a text to check in on them. If I've taken anything away from this situation, it is this. I heard it during the whole quarantine and I just thought it sat with so much purpose and I feel like no matter what you're going through in life, this is something to always um, follow and just live your life by. So please, never stop loving, ever. Love is the best thing. And never stop loving yourself.
it is, and we're just gonna take it day by day. Yeah, there's a lot of happy moments and things to be thankful for uh, during the season of um, unknown and uncertainty, um, but I think there's a lot to be learned um, and a lot of growth to take place. See ya! You're still finding yourselves again. I'm thankful to have the time to work out every day though to help alleviate that stress. Um, a couple other things that I'm really grateful for is more time with my family. Um, 